Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick unscripted video, just testing some different coils out, see how they perform when I shoot some stuff out of them. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this really small coil, looks like kind of a puck. Now it's very tall, but it's not very long. Now the second coil I have here is a little bit longer than the first one, but it's a little bit shorter as well. Now this next one is the longest coil I have. It's only a little bit thinner than that middle coil, it definitely uses the most amount of wire. And then lastly I have this coil, which is as thick as that small coil, but is as long as that middle coil. I was interested to see how it would perform if we mixed both of those attributes together. The other thing I'm going to do is not shoot this paperclip because it doesn't really have a lot of mass on it. I want something that would be a little more controllable. So I'm going to be using this hex bit I have. It also fits in the barrel a bit better so it helps with friction and stuff like that. I should also mention all of these tests are going to be done with the capacitor at 150 volts just for consistency. So here's that small coil. And then we have the middle coil. Now we have that really long coil. And lastly, we have that thick kind of long coil. So you can see that thick kind of long coil did the best, but I don't think this is the entire story because it, it only seemed to be the best because it had so much more wire than that really small coil. If you adjust for the amount of wire that went into it, the very small coil actually ended up doing the best because they were very close. Now, as for why I think the long coils didn't perform as well, my guess is that the magnetic field isn't as concentrated in one spot, it's more spread out, and this worked against it more than the other coils did. I don't, really wasn't expecting anything in particular, so more of an interesting result. So it just tells me when I'm making these coils, I'm going to want to definitely value height over length. And that's really all I got now.